In this video, we will learn about another type of conditional formatting rules. Excel allows us to custom format cells that's, that meet specific criteria that we can provide. For example, let me choose in the employees worksheet, I'm going to choose all these cells because these are all the salaries by um, for employees every month in the year 2013. And I can choose conditional formatting, new rule. And we are now in the second rule type, format only cells that contain. And you have this option here where you have to provide the rule or the condition to Excel and then you can set custom format and then Excel will apply the format that you choose whenever the cells meet your criteria. And let's just start with, for example, the cell value, which is all the salaries here, should be greater than, and you see all these options available, greater than 10,000. And I want to customize these cells whenever the value is greater than 10,000. And when you open the format option here, you see the format cells dialog box, which looks very similar to the format cells dialog box, which we have studied before. There are a few changes. There are um, a few tabs that are not available here. For example, the alignment is not available here, but also you can, you can see the number format option here and you can set this, change this for cells where this condition is true. You can also change the font style and the font color and the underline and the strike through, but you cannot change the font itself and you cannot change the font size based on conditions. You can change the border or apply different borders and you can also apply the background colors and patterns if you'd like. Let's say I want to choose the, the gold background here and then I will choose bold font style and let me just choose a red color as the font color and I'm going to hit OK. And now you can see the preview of how the cells that meet this criteria will be displayed in your worksheet. And if this is what you want, you can hit apply and OK. And before that, I want to point out that we are typing in numbers here. You can also click here and then point to a cell and Excel can use that as a condition as well. So you don't have to always type in numbers. You can see a cell. You can use cell references. And there are so many options between greater than, less than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and we're going to just choose greater than. Okay. Instantly now you see the cells have the goldish yellow background fill with the red font in bold font style. And this clearly tells us or visibly that these are the specific months and employees where the salaries have been above 10,000 rupees. Now let's go back to the format cells dialog box here. So I'm going to click on any cell here. And if I go and choose manage rules, then Excel will display whatever rule is applicable to the cell that we selected. And this is the rule that was applied. And so I can go and hit edit rule and I can change this if I would like. And I just want to point out that we used the cell value setting here because we dealt with values or numbers here, but you can also use it for text. For example, I can say specific text and instantly this operation or operators menu changes. So now I can say a specific text containing a value or text value here, something I can enter and then or I can choose not containing this value or beginning with this value or ending with this value. And this, so you can apply the conditional formatting not only to the values or numbers, but you can also apply it to text cells. And you can also apply with dates. So if you apply to dates, you can check whether the dates are uh, meeting the specific criteria, whether the date matches today's date or whether the date matches tomorrow's date in the last seven days, in the next week, in the last month, next month, this month. So all of these are pre-built options which you can choose and you can, you can apply this to the cells that you want to apply to and then the conditional formatting 
you apply here and here will be applied to the cells if it meets the criteria. If the cells don't meet the criteria, then their formatting will not change. And there are other options. You can easily highlight blank cells in your selection and you can, that will the blank cells will be applied to specific formatting. And you can choose no blanks, which means if the cell has any value populated, then this formatting will be applied. And similarly, if the cell has any errors, then you can apply specific format. If the cell doesn't have an error, you can apply the format. So these are all the different options that you can apply and uh, under the format only cells that contain rule type.